Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Digital Classroom. Today, one of my favorite apps on the iPhone for photography, Lightroom Mobile. And I'm going to show you some stuff that you may or may not know. So Lightroom Mobile, it has changed a lot over the years. And to be totally honest, it's my go-to app for photography. Why? Very simple. It shoots raw and you have a load of options. Plus, of course, when you have Creative Cloud, everything gets uploaded to the cloud. And when you're home, it's already in Lightroom. Isn't that easy? But the camera has some really cool tricks. And I want to show you that very quickly. So let's switch over to the screen of the camera. Now you probably all know this, and by the way, we are still in Denmark in the RV, so that's why everything doesn't look like the studio. So one of the first things you have to know is when you switch, or sorry, if you swipe over the screen, you actually can change your exposure compensation. Now you also saw that some areas actually get the zebras. And that actually means that they're overexposed. And you can set it up really easy. You see the three dots up there? Just press. And you can literally on the pyramid, pyramid, sorry, you can turn off your highlight clipping. So now you don't see it anymore. Or you can turn it off. Turn it on. And I really advise you to turn it on because it's a really handy tool. Now there are more options. For example, if you want to focus somewhere. Let's say I want to focus here. You can of course click, but you can also hold and click. And now it actually has focus lock. So now I can move away and it won't refocus because the focus is locked. So that's a really handy option. You can also zoom in to see if the focus is okay. You just do that with your two finger pinch and you can do something else. You see here the 57%, just click. And now I can actually manual focus. Do you still like autofocus more? No problem, just go to auto. And by the way, that goes for everything in Lightroom Mobile if you're in the pro mode. You can go to your shutter speed or leave it on auto. You can go, of course, to your exposure compensation. You can go to your ISO, your white balance and everything else. But most of all, you can zoom in with your two finger pinch and make sure that you're a focus, if you want to do it manually, is 100% okay. And now you can zoom out again and take your picture. Okay, but let's keep the focus on auto. The other thing, of course, is in, if you have an iPhone 7 Plus or any other device with two cameras, you see a W over here. Just click and you go to your tailor lens and back. Okay. Over here you have your settings, you can go to maximum screen brightness. Let's say you are biking somewhere and of course then you have your maximum screen brightness. But let's say you're in the studio. You don't have your maximum screen brightness but it's very handy with your photography to do so. Just select that one and it's always on maximum brightness. Same with your geotagging. If you want your geotags in your picture that means you can always find back where you shot them. Just connect it. And of course, if you shoot HDR, you can also choose to save an unprocessed original. I normally have this off because, well, shooting HDR is mostly in JPEG and I like to shoot RAWs. Okay, so those are some of the tips you may or may not know about Lightroom Mobile, but that make your life a whole lot easier with this amazing app from Adobe. Thank you so very much for watching, guys, and see you next time.